Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to save out an SPSS.sav file for use in M+. So if you're relatively new to M+, you are aware that M+, doesn't read in SPSS files or .sav files or STATA files or things like that. And so there's a little bit of pre-processing you need to do. So say, for example, you know, you receive a data set and it's in the format we're looking at right now in an SPSS file you know, what are some changes you need to make? So I'm gonna lay out ways that I've done this in the past and some suggested uh, steps to take to get your data ready. So this is an SPSS data file. So you see variable names at the top. It looks like a spreadsheet. You can see here the missing data are, you know, a period um, in this particular data set. So first thing I generally am gonna do is I'm going to run descriptive statistics. So what I'm going to do is I clicked analyze descriptives and I'm going to click on one of the variables and then click control A to highlight all of them, pop them into the variables list. I'm going to click paste. Do this for a couple of reasons, but first is it shows me the variable names in the correct order that I want them. Later, I'm gonna copy and paste this into M plus rather than typing out all the variable names. I'm also gonna run this because I'm assuming that the values I get here are correct, right? So age, for example, I have 92 out of 93 participants. The minimum is 11, the maximum is 17, the mean is 13. So later when I read this into M plus, I wanna cross check against you know, these results. So I'm gonna minimize these windows, but keep them easy access to me. Now, I've had better luck in M plus using minus 99 or 9999 or something like that for a missing data flag. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to convert or, or recode the system missing value in SPSS into a missing data flag that I like better. So I'm going to do transform, recode into same variables. I'm going to repeat the process here of control A, pop those in, I'm gonna do old and new values. The old value for missing, or the old value for all the variables that system missing, I'm gonna to recode to minus 99. You click add in SPSS, continue, and then okay. And you'll see that in the data set now, where there previously were those periods, you now have a minus 99. Now, obviously, if you're gonna do this step of running the descriptive statistics, you do that before recoding missing data to minus 99, because that, that would throw off your means and things like that. Now that I've done that, so I've got minus 99 for missing, I know what the means should be in the minimum maximums, things like that. I'm ready to save this data set out. So I'm gonna go file, save as, and then what I'll do here is I'll, in, I'll go to save as type and I'll click on the down arrow. So instead of an SAV, I'm going to save this as a comma delimited file or a .csv. I'm also going to uncheck write variable names to file. So that's going to take off the variable names when it saves out a file that can be read in, say, for example, Excel. The reason being M plus wants files read in with no variable names at the top. I'm going to click Save. I can go to my desktop on my computer to see if that's saved correctly. So here's the comma separated values file. Double click on that, see what it looks like. And you'll see no variable names at the top, just the ID numbers, age is that first column, the minus 99s for any missing data I have. So I'll X that out. Next, what I tend to do is I go to M plus and I start with just a blank input or .imp or syntax file. What I like to do when I'm first starting out and reading in a data set that I've saved, and in this case, it's on my desktop, so it's easy to find, but sometimes I have data files kind of buried in you know, 12 subfolders. So what I'll do is, is I'll use M plus language generator. In this case, it doesn't really matter which I choose, I'm just gonna choose SEM. Title here, I'm gonna call it type is basic because I'm just gonna run some basic sample statistics. It's a, the data set is an individual data set. It's not summary like a variance, covariance matrix or a correlation matrix. So I'm gonna click browse, go to my desktop. Now here M plus is defaulting to .dat files. So I have to click all files to get to that CSV. Double click that and click next. Data format is free, missing data, yes. It's a numeric flag. 
next. I could add in variable names, but I have so many variable names here. I'm just going to copy and paste them out from the, the SPSS syntax. I'm not going to do that. Uh, variable list, I don't need any of this. So the numeric missing value flag was minus 99. It's the same for all the variables, so I make sure that that button is checked. Click next. I don't have grouping variables, weight variables, or categorical variables. I actually do, but I don't care about that at this step, so I'm going to skip that. Um, I'm going to ask for type equals basic. It's going to use maximum likelihood as a default. These are all default kind of commands. I'm just going to request sample statistics, which is going to give me means, variances, skew, kurtosis, things like that. Click next. I don't need any save data option, so I'll just click finish. Now I've got an input file, so it's telling it's located the file and put the full address in there. Missing are all minus 99. All I really need here is type is basic. Basic is going to give me missing data information, essentially. I don't need these defaults. And in the output, I'm asking for SAMP stat. Now, what I need to add is a command names are to tell M plus what the variable names are. And these, it's very important that these match onto the comma separated you know, columns, I guess, that M plus is going to encounter. So I'm going to go back to SPSS and I'm going to copy the variable names. I missed the I and ID, so I'm going to do that again. Oh, I messed up again. Uh, copy. The so names are hit enter and click paste. Now, if you've used M plus for a while, you know that M plus doesn't want the commands to go out past 90 columns. So I'm putting my cursor in front of some of the variable names and hitting enter just to kind of move these over. You also probably discovered that M plus does not like long variable names. So some of these, for example, this one. I could have changed it in SPSS before I started this whole process, but here I could just change it to, you know, shorter. It's eight characters. This is the max that M plus wants to see. It won't give you an error, but sometimes it will lead to problems interpreting your output because M plus will truncate those to eight characters. I also need to add a semicolon here at the end so that M plus knows that's the end of the names are command. So it's now assigned variable names to each of the comma separated columns in the data set. I'm ready to run this. However, if I don't put in a use variables command, M plus is gonna think I wanna use all of them, including the ID variable, which I don't. So I'm gonna say use variables are age through CESD4R. And what that's gonna do is give me information on all these variables. Need a semicolon and I'm gonna run that. Uh, when, when you do that, language generator you then have to ask it uh, you have to give the you have to name the input file before it'll run type equals basic with this many variables is going to take a little bit of time so while that runs i'll do a quick review of what i just did so spss saving it out to a file it can be read in excel or notepad or something like that but that will go into m plus open the dot sav file in spss run descriptive statistics so you can double check later Use the syntax feature in SPSS to get a list of variable names in order if you want to copy and paste in like I just did. Alternatively, you could have saved out with the variable names at the top into an Excel file and then copied and pasted that into M+. In the second video I'm going to post, I'm going to show you how to do this in RStudio. And in that case, that way I will do a copy paste from an Excel file or a CSV file into M+. Recode the missing data values if necessary. In my case, I changed that period, which was system missing or sysmiss to minus 99. And then file save as I changed to a CSV. I uncheck write variable name for the file, save the new CSV file. Note the length of variable names. I can either fix it in M plus when assigning variable names. I can edit what I just did when I paste it in, or I can change it in SPSS using the variable view option. In M plus, there many ways to do this, but one easy way is to use the M plus language generator. It directs M plus to the exact location of the data file without needing the file location. Um, I copied and pasted variable names from the SPSS syntax file. Alternative is to save out names Excel, and then you'll have to delete them later. Be sure the missing flag is correct. Run SAM stat type equals basic compared to SPSS output. And that is it. So that should have finished by now. So this is sample size of 93. It's among middle school students from North Carolina. 
One thing to notice is I recoded a number of items or reversed them. And so you'll see a warning down below that you can ignore. But M plus, because of type equals basic, is giving me different missing data patterns in my data set, giving me what's called covariance coverage, or basically what proportion of two variables are available to compute a covariance between those variables. Don't really care about this right now. What I am interested in are the means and the minimums and the maximums just to make sure the data was read incorrectly. So if I go to age, mean of age is 13, minimum is 11, maximum is 17. Go back to the SPSS output file, look at age, minimum is 11, maximum is 17, the mean is 13. Might want to also check one of my summary composite variables. I'm going to choose what's called FES mod, which is family ethnic socialization. The mean I'm seeing here is, can't really see it because I've minimized the window, but it's a 3.9223. Go back to M plus, scroll down to FES mod. Right here, the mean is 3.922. So with rounding, those are equal. That would leave me feeling confident that I've correctly read in the data set and I'm good to go. Now I go back to this file. I've got a file built where I can do things like confirmatory factor analysis, regressions, whatever I want to do now. And M plus. So that's the way I would go straight from SPSS to a CSE file to read into M plus. If you have any questions or comments, post them below, or you can email me at ajsupple at appliedanalyses.com. Um, and I, I will be posting a second video if you don't have access to SPSS at all, how to do this all in our studio. Thanks for watching.